Pleasant good morning, welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in Federal, Colorado. It's yours truly, Marlon Bledman. Today, guys, I have behind me a 2019 Ford F350, and this one is the Dually. Uh, this one, also the trim level is the Lariat Edition. Um, so for a couple of you guys up out there that don't know much about one-ton pickups, um, different brands have different trim levels and um, this one only has six trim levels and if you guys are familiar with it we start with the XL and of course the, the lower the trim level the cheaper the, um, the cost of this unit um, we have the XLT that's the second trim level then we have the Lariat then we go up to the King Ranch the Platinum and then the Limited so as the trim levels go up like I previously mentioned in a couple videos of mine the features on there will change so you'll 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 move from having winding windows to power windows um, some of them do have that still um, you will you will have sunroof and not some without sunroof you will have the whole panoramic sunroof you will have cloth seats you will have leather seats you know it turns into um, blind spot monitor uh, then you have lane assist then you have collision assist so there's so many different features as the trim levels go up that will come with those units. So again, you guys have to know exactly what you're looking for in a pickup that will suit your needs. And then you go out there searching for that particular unit. So if you're looking for a unit with blind spot monitor, then you, you're looking for a safety package. So that will come with uh, lane assist, that will come with lane departure warning, that will come with uh, you know collision assist, you know and, and, and the list goes on and on so with this particular unit I'm going to show you guys exactly what this Lariat edition comes with um, and some of the additions uh, that came on to this unit as well so right now we are hooked up to this trailer right now and it is a gooseneck trailer but you have the option on this unit to go either fifth wheel or gooseneck so um, you get the the, um, the right attachments um, either the drop ball for the gooseneck or you get the puck system for the fifth wheel hitch and um, as we go um, around this unit I'll show you guys how that puck system works um, and what type of and we'll be able to help you guys with what type of uh, hitch you can put in here as well so again guys this is the 2019 Ford F350 this one is the Lariat Dually 4x4 And as we take a look underneath the Ford hood, first thing you guys will see is a 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel V8 engine. And this is partnered with a six speed automatic transmission. And you're looking at an engine that will produce about 450 horsepower and about 903, um, 935 foot pounds of torque. Again, this unit was well maintained. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit of the Carfax in a little bit, and that's something as a buyer, you will want to know what you're looking at when it comes to Carfaxes. So um, I'm gonna go over some of that with you when we get inside um, and kind of have, give, give you guys an idea what you wanna see in a Carfax to make you, you know, comfortable buying or purchasing that vehicle. Sometimes the Carfax will show certain things um, there's sometimes mistakes do happen on Carfax. I just recently had a mistake happen where uh, my previous customer went in to do an oil change and a uh, transmission flush and the mileage was changed in there and what happened was the, there was a inconsistency with the mileage which froze a red flag in Carfax. So that had to be addressed. He had to go back to that previous place he went to get that service done for them to actually fix that on the Carfax. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, when, once that is even out, that will clean his Carfax up and, and remove that red flag on there. So if he had to go and sell his vehicle right now with that Carfax, I mean, people have to know exactly what they're looking at to understand the mistake. If not, someone will be like, no, it has a red flag, I'm not buying this unit. So again, you always have to ensure that Carfax is always good. Um, when it comes to accidents and stuff, I've come to customers and be like, okay, this vehicle, your vehicle was in an accident and be like, no way, no way. And then I go to him and I'm like, hey, the previous owner, 
this is the case number, you know, and so on and so forth. So that made him feel that I was, you know, I was telling the truth because Carfax, again, sometimes lie, sometimes don't. But again, you have to know exactly what you're looking for. So there was a case number on that Carfax. So I was able to tell him that case number and he was able to do his research and come back to me and be like, okay, yes, the previous owner did have a minor accident on that unit. So again, that Carfax will actually show you all that as well. So looking at the front end of this unit, you have that chrome look up front, bumper with fog lights and uh, tow hooks, the Ford badge up here, nice and big uh, headlights as we come around. We do have the original uh, Ford rims on there uh, with Michelin tires. And those are 245-75R17s. And again, with all the vehicles coming out here, um, most, of the, most of the brands out there will actually put their badge on the units. And of course, you can see it's the F350 Lariat trim. And of course, the engine that's on that unit as well. Some units will show the transmission, if it's an Allison or whatever the case may be, it will show that. Um, but if not, if it's just the basic uh, transmission, um, of course, it will not show that, but it will show the engine, 6.7 liter power stroke diesel. This does come with a keyless entry, and of course, it does have a keypad, a lock and unlock uh, feature up here. Um, with the keyless entry, when you wanna lock it, keys in your pocket, you press that black button, on here or the passenger door when you when you want to go into the vehicle keys are on you as well you put your hands in the door it will automatically open the door for you well not automatically open the door but unlock the door for you and as i open the door as you guys could see i had some power uh, running boards come out which is kind of a cool feature let me show you that guys that again on a different angle stairs fold up out of the way Open it up, ready to go inside. So let's get a closer look of the, uh, the driver's side, all the features on here. Looking at the door, one thing I like about this particular model, uh, the, uh, the extending mirrors, it's uh, automatic. So you could actually press this button and allow it to widen or, or close. And again, it all depends on what type of trailer you're pulling. You want to see that perfect view when you when you're hauling something, so you could actually extend that to. Um, if you guys were looking at my video yesterday on that Ram 3500, that one you have to go out and actually tilt the mirror up. This one already come designed with a bigger mirror, where it allows you to expand or kind of open and close just by a push of a button. You have your power windows. This one does come with. Uh, folding mirrors as well right above the uh, mirrors that's one of the safety features I was talking about and this one is the blind spot monitor that's two little cars with a signal on the side of it in between it um, there's a little light that will show on here either mirror so it all depends where your blind spot is if it's on the left or the right uh, that little light will will blink and one of the things too, if you don't indicate or if you're indicating and somebody's in your blind spot and you're about to move to that lane, the vehicle will actually beep, constantly beep at you. So that will actually give you a warning as well. So not just the light coming on is a warning. If you are actually turning into a lane where someone is in your blind spot and you're about to hit them, the vehicle will actually warn you um, with this loud sound inside the cab and kind of give you that heads up, do not, move or just keep going straight kind of thing so um, some of them have different features some would have the vibrate seats as well um, so if you are you know doing that lane departure one and stuff sometimes and you get off on one lane without indicating it will actually vibrate the seats for you some of the trim levels as well will actually pull you back into that lane and keep you in the lane unless you indicate and you're about to change lanes that's the only way it will work some of them come so high tech nowadays if you signal and you're about to if you don't signal and you're about to change lanes the steering wheel will actually just pull you back into the lane which is actually pretty cool with the technology nowadays everything everything is awesome and this one does come with memory seats 
So we got three different options, power seats as well. Tons of storage in the doors, all four doors have storage. This one does come with uh, electric seats, tilt, adjustable. It does come with adjustable uh, steering wheel as well. And adjustable pedals. So last week I did tune this to number one setting. So if I press this one right now, the steering wheel will change back to the setting I had previously um, set. The seats will actually adjust to the way I had it. And of course the mirrors, if I had changed it, it would have do itself as well. So tons of great features on this unit. Of course it does come with leather seats and those front seats are cool and heated. Uh, some of the trim levels you'll just get heated seats. Um, the lower trim levels you might not get any heated seats at all. But again, this one does come with both of those. Back seat. It is a crew cab, so you have tons of room in the back here. Those seats does fold up. You do have like a nice little toolbox here. If you guys want to use that, you lock it in place. And with this lock in place, you could actually uh, tilt the seats back down and it will not uh, be in the way of this. It will actually uh, line up nicely with this right here. You got three different options in here for charging and it does have a power inverter in here so you have the option to have a 110 plug-in um, you do have two usb ports here and of course a 12 volt hookup here as well so it has all your needs here for charging both behind and up front And yesterday, like I mentioned on, my, on, that, on that video I did with the Ram, this one is similar. You have the dev tank direct, uh, right next to the uh, diesel tank, which makes life very easy for you. Pour in, in your dev fluid and your diesel the same area. Um, then having to go into the hood and pour your dev fluid in here, dirtying up, your <laughs> dirtying up all, the, uh, all the engine parts. Because once dev fluid get on any surface, it will um, it will actually crystallize and turn white so if it falls on your shoe or falls inside that it's something you need to wash down almost immediately because it crystallizes and it's just not a you know good look um, looking at that you know it looks like a corrosion happening um, so that's something you want to wash down uh, right away if any uh, death fluid falls on the on the unit it is a dually, so you have dual wheels in the back. Uh, so a total of four tires in the back, two in the front. It is the FX4 off-road package. So we got kid plates underneath the unit to protect your gas, uh, your diesel tank, to protect anything underneath your engine, um, your oil pan, your transmission, all that stuff will be protected underneath here with skid plates. The blind spot monitor I was telling you guys about, uh, most units, uh, when you are looking at a unit with a uh, blind spot monitor, on the back lights, you will see blind spot radar. Most times on Fords, you will see that all the time. Um, RAM might be a little bit different on the look, but you do have that radar on the side panels of your, your back lights. And that will give that uh, motion detection if, a, if somebody or a vehicle is in your blind spot, they they will be located on both sides of the unit. This one does come with a bumper hitch. Also, it does come with a spare tire underneath the bed. Um, it also has a seven pin and a four pin hookup here for your bumper pull trailers. This is your release here for your spare tire. You put the key inside here and release the, tire, um, the spare tire. It does come with rear and front sensors. It does come with a rear camera as well and light. This Ford does come with a, a step that will allow you to go in and out of the bed. Right now we are hooked up to a trailer so we can't uh, open up that stairs for you guys to see. So maybe one of these days I'll do a video without any uh, trailer hookup so I could actually show you guys how that step work. Inside the bed, it is Rhino lined as you guys can see. Um, it is hooked up with that gooseneck ball, drop ball, and of course there are four 
pins or holes where the uh, fifth wheel hitch will actually mount in here. Uh, it will actually turn and lock in place and pins will actually uh, protect it from opening and that's the four corners you will put your fifth wheel hitch. Um, normally companion or B&W hitches um, will get the right size and um, exact, um, tell you the exact um, hitch uh, that's need to be put in here. This one does come with a trailer, ca a trailer camera, uh, so a bed camera if you want to call that. Um, so when you are hooking up to a trailer like this, I will show you guys inside the cab once we put it in, in reverse. Um, that camera will actually line you up with your gooseneck ball or your fifth wheel hitch and will actually allow you to back into your trailers without any assistance. But again, a lot of people do it by themselves, um, especially being on the road a lot. Um, some people get accustomed to hooking up the trailer um, by themselves. So uh, having that camera is an added feature that will you know, make it more comfortable for you backing into those trailers and know exactly what's happening in the back end of your truck. So let's, uh, let's take a look inside, guys. Um, kind of go over some of the features that I was talking about. <coughs> this unit does come with remote start. So on the key, it might look a little bulky, but it's uh, a nice fancy uh, Ford key. So you have your unlock, you got your lock, remote start, tailgate release, and a panic button. So it does have a soft release for your tailgate. A panic button, that's normally, if you're in a, in a parking lot, you go to the game and you, do, you can't remember where you park, you could actually press this button once you're close enough to the vehicle. The uh, horn will actually go off and then it will kind of signal, you know, kind of tell you where exactly your vehicle is parked. Um, it will al almost sound like an alarm. Um, this one does come with a key. So by pressing this, uh, pressing this little button here, it doesn't look like a button because the back end is almost the same. So if you press that button here, it does come with a key inside there. So for all those people who are wondering, you know, when they tell you there is a key in your fob, you actually, where is it at? That's where it is. At. So you can actually use that key to manually unlock your your doors. This is the push to start. So brake pedal and pressing that button up here. Uh, so it is a four x four, so you have all your four x four controls here. It does come with a trailer brake system install. Up here you have your exhaust brake, uh, traction off, hazards, descent, and this button here is an easy access to your cameras. So if you're wondering, you know, what's going on in the back, you can press that camera and actually see the camera on the bed. So a nice little feature here to actually see what's going on in the back end. So you could actually turn this on while you're driving to see what's going on with your trailer um, while you drive. Um, you do have access to satellite radio, F AM and FM radio. Climate control, you could control this uh, two ways, either by the screen, the touch screen here, or manually down here. All your AC controls is down here. He cool seats, heated seats, fan controls, uh, decrease and increase the fan. And of course your different mo modes there. Um, up here is the same, you could do everything up here. It does have heated steering wheel as well. Going down to your phone, you could actually add different phones to this unit. I think you could do up to uh, two phones at a time, um, but uh, you know, you could have your main phone and a secondary phone. Um, if you don't want to do that, you could actually connect it through USB. And it does have Apple and Android capabilities, so your phone will actually show up on the screen. And this nice little storage box will allow you to, to store all your items in here as well. So that just gives you a quicker way to, uh, you know, just to drop stuff in here while you're driving. It does come with cup holders and those little storage box here as well. So back up here on the screen, you have navigation already uh, programmed into this stereo. So you could actually, you know, select your destination. You could actually set up your home, work, just in case you are, you know, not accustomed to um, your route, you know, from one location to another. You could just, a uh, nice little shortcut here you could actually see where the closest food place are. It will 
pull up a bunch of different restaurants around um, where you could put diesel on where you could rest your head at a hotel ATM and there's so many different options here entertainment health community um, shops banks <laughs> it has a, a few different options here on the navigation side um, you got your apps your settings all the different settings there as well on your steering wheel uh, you do have your volume controls here M is for mute so if you are listening to a, a, a song and you know somebody's talking to you, you could actually mute that uh, this is your station uh, forward and rewind if you want to call that signals here uh, that's to change your different stations or tracks that you're listening to on your left hand side here that this uh, arrows here and the OK is to control everything on your on your dash here down here is all your uh, cruise control settings and over here on your right you have your Bluetooth and uh, voice command center over here so you can answer your phone, hang up the phone, uh, mute the speaker, and of course, uh, voice control here. Up here, you have six aux auxiliary switches, and these are all powered uh, through the battery. So if you are deciding to hook up um, a light bar, um, auxiliary gas tank that's powered, um, all those switches, you could actually label those for light bar, um, fog lights if you decide to put um, some really um, fancy fog lights um, lights on the roof you could turn that on if you have a yeah so whatever needs power you have six different switch here to power those up um, instead of having to install a, a switch somewhere in your dash that is aftermarket you have those up here a glasses holder all your light controls garage control storage we got a nice little storage box here storage box down here your armrest turns into a storage box underneath it here and that's a huge box and it does have a 12 volt plug-in in the here as well oh, sorry cup holders throughout this unit so you got two here two here and two between the, the passengers in the back and of course all your doors have at least one cup holder on it so you have two four six eight ten ten cup holders on this one I think yesterday was like 14 on the Ram so again it just make it easier for travel uh, so you don't have to put stuff on the floor having cup holders makes stuff easier not having things you know flying all over the place again guys uh, I did mention uh, Carfax so um, if you guys are looking at the Carfax on any unit, there's certain things you got to look for. And I'm just going to do a basic run through on the Carfax on this unit. So up here is where you want to look at. So actually you're going to see if the vehicle was in any accident or had any damage reported. And how that works is I end up in an accident, the police came, write a report, it will go automatically onto my Carfax. See when the accident was and in all the details on the second page it will show you the date Oop. it will show you the date the area and what what um, information like the comments uh, was the front end damage or whatever the case may be so back to the front page it will show you how many owners how many previous owners the vehicle had so the, it was a one owner vehicle so we bought it from uh, the person who originally bought it all the service records will show there so since he had it there was 10 times this vehicle went in for service um, the next one will actually show you if it was a personal vehicle if it was a rental and if it was a corporate vehicle so that person did put this vehicle into his business name so it would show corporate vehicle um, where it was last owned so where it was last registered will show up up here and that was in New Mexico and the last time it was in the mileage so that's when we brought it in for uh, that's when the last uh, he brought it in so at 31,000 miles um, it registered here so all that will show you all the history on here all the different owners and how long it had it for it will show up on the next uh, line here um, so right now it's just one owner 
and then uh, all the reports on all the different services and way he he serviced the vehicle and all that good stuff here so this is a clean carfax that's as clean as you could get it um, so uh, you could always still see warranty stuff as well you put in the mileage and it will actually tell you uh, the different warranties that is left so on this particular vehicle um, I need to update the mileage here but uh, the basic warranty is done on it but then you still have drive trim emissions and corrosion all that will transfer to the new owner and basic warranty if you guys want extended warranties and stuff there are extended warranties at most dealerships you go to especially at our 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 facility uh, we do have extended warranties on all of our units so if you guys have any more information on this particular unit or any unit on our lot please give me a call at 303-684-3412 uh, call me on my cell at 661-755-4344 or you guys could email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com. Um, you guys can go on our website at transwest.com um, to view our units. Or we also have our used units on Auto Trader. So you can go to Transwest, um, the Transwest uh, site on Auto Trader and see all the units that we have for sale as well. And the prices will be on here. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. And I'll be with you guys tomorrow again for another video. In the meantime, have a great week. Continue to have a great week and stay safe out there. Thank you guys very much and see you guys tomorrow.